hello everyone so in this class we are going to discuss how we can configure the switch in this one we are going to do the basic configuration like how we can configure the telnet and how we can assign the ip address to the switch how we can change the name of the switch so this is a small scenario if you see here i have one router and i have one switch so now what we are going to do we are going to configure the basic setup of the switch I am using model 2960. So we are going to configure. I am using one laptop, and this laptop is connected with the console cable. So I am going to access the switch with the console cable to do the configuration. After finishing here, we are going to access the switch via telnet by using the remote laptop. So let's see. We can uh, verify that one. first of all i am going to configure the basic setup in the switch so what i will do i will click this laptop i will take this is a laptop in this one i will go to desktop and then i am going to terminal in real scenario i am using the putty software to do the configuration but here what we will use we will use the terminal sometime we are using putty sometime we are using super putty sometime we are using the Oh, what we can say we have different tools but most common tool is putty most of the time we are preferring putty only but anyhow here in the packet tracer we have the terminal configuration so i will take this is a default setting just we need to press okay so you can access the switch so if you see here this is a switch and here this is a brand new switch nothing is configured here so what i am going to do i am going to do the configuration this is a basic configuration first of all i will write enable then i will write config t after that i will change the name so i will write host name host name i will give as is sw1 so this way i i change the name of the switch so now the name of the switch will be sw1 after that what i will do i need to assign the ip to this switch so the remote laptop can access this switch with that ip so what i am going to do i am going to do the i am going to assign the ip so how we will assign this is a layer to switch in the layer to switch if you want to assign the ip address how we can assign we will go inside the vlan and we are going to assign the ip inside the vlan so i will write interface vlan 1 and then i will write ip address and i am going to assign the ip because here this side i am using 192.168.1.0 network and this is a router interface that is f0 by 0 here we are using 192.168.1.1 So for the switch, I am going to use 1.2. So I will write 192.168.1.2. Give space write 255.255.255.0, and then we will write no shut here. So this way I can assign the IP address to the switch. After that, what I will do? I will create one username here. User. I will create one username like admin and the password also. admin i created one local user and then i will create the enable password enable secret password is admin so this one i done now let's do the telnet configuration so i will write lan lan vty 0 to 4 login local okay so this way we will configure the telnet so telnet configuration is done here and also we assign the ip if you want to assign the default gateway we can write ip default gateway and give the ip address whatever router is having so router is having 192.168.1.1 so i will give this one this is the default gateway for the switch and i will save the configuration okay so if you want i will show you show run what configuration i done here if you see i change the host name i enable the password that is secret password this is a password i give i created one local user this is a local user and also i configured the telnet if you want to check i will show you first of all let me show you i assign the ip to the vlan 1 and also i create the default gateway i put the default gateway as the router id and then i configured the lan vty 0 to 4 login local that is telnet is configured here after that we can verify you can cross check within the switch only you can take switch within the switch you can take the switch remotely from switch cli only just to cross check telnet is working or not before uh, telling to the remote guy access i can do here only to verify that one 
so i will write telnet 192 168.1.2 i will press enter so now it is open and it is asking me username password means telnet is working perfectly i can write admin and password is also admin so i can access i will exit so what i done here before informing the remote guy to access the switch remotely myself only in i am accessing the switch telnet but here inside this one only i telnet this switch again this is the main switch within the switch i telnet myself only and i verify it is working or not perfectly okay after that i can say remote guy this one access the switch with the telnet so this guy can go here he can use the command from or in the packet tracer there is a telnet option here you can click here and this option you can select the telnet and you can put the ip example i will write 192.168 what is the ip of the switch 1.2 you can put this one and click connect okay so then it will open and you will get the login details so you need to write here admin and also you need to write admin then you can access write enable and write the password whatever password you give you are able to access the switch you can write show version to check the version of the switch if you see version let me show you where is the version if you see this is a version 12 okay old model or where is this one software version is this one this is the ROM other version but if you see Cisco iOS software this is a version 15.2 so this is good version nowadays we are using above 16 only but here this is also okay acceptable you can you can run many commands here and if you want to check the switch uptime you can see from 39 minutes this is up okay this switch uptime is 39 minute and what else you can check here example if you want to check uh, like if you have roots you can check also but this is a switch so you can check if you want to check show vlan brief to check how many vlan you have so what we done here with the remote desktop that is remote laptop you are able to access the switch but you need to remember here you are accessing i did not configure the i did not show you i did not show you i configure here the ip to this laptop so you should have the connectivity from your laptop to the router and router should have the ip both the side i did not configure in this lab but you whenever you are doing this lab make sure your router should have the ip to this interface i will show you this is my router you can go here enable then show ip interface brief when you write here show ip interface brief you can see the interface if you see fast ethernet 0 by 0 what is ip this one 192 1.1 so this interface one fast ethernet 0 by 0 is having 192 1.1 and if you see fast ethernet 0 by 1 is having 172.16.1.1 here so i need to assign the ip to my laptop uh, regarding this interface if you see f0 by 1 is having the ip 172.16.1.1 so that ip will become as a gateway here and from the same subnet i need to assign the ip to my machine and this is a subnet mask if you see here we have slash 24 so we will write here slash 24 and then you need to check the connectivity you can access the router or not after that you need to ping the uh, first you need to ping the router ip if you see router ip is 172.16.1.1 so you have the connectivity from your pc to the router then after that you can telnet to the switch okay because i did not show you how i assign the ip i hope you already know how we assign the ip to the router interface that's why i did not teach you now and also you already know how to assign the ip to the machine that's why i did not teach you but when you are doing the lab maybe you are confused you will say that sir done without assigning the ip to the laptop and the router so that's why i'm making uh, clear here again when you do this lab you should assign the ip default gateway everything whatever i assign here that is the ip subnet mask and the default gateway and your router should have the ip to its interface okay so this way we do the basic setup in this lab actually main focus was to teach you how we can enable the basic configuration how we can assign the ip address how we can configure the default gateway 
how we can enable the template and another that is how we can create the local user how we can do the secret password and also how we can uh, what we can say change the switch name by using this command and how we can assign the ip to the vlan that's all this is a main task what we need to learn in this lab okay i hope this is okay and this is what we can say this is basic lab for the fresher many guys are fresher they are having these doubts so just i am explaining them about this basic setup if you have any question anything you can ask us right in the chat box or in the comments thank you bye